Assalamu alaikum. As we enter our seventh month of the quarantine, I pray that you and your families are safe and sound. And I pray that your new normal is better than you could have ever imagined it to be. My name is Sue Obeidi, and I am the director of Impact's Hollywood Bureau. I'm standing in front of my neighborhood theater that I miss so much. This is my home away from home. You see, for me, watching movies and television was never just an activity to pass time. It was a journey into the wonderful world of storytelling, imagination, learning, adventure, and as an immigrant child who came to an America that was otherizing me, it was my shelter from the storm. And PAC's Hollywood Bureau changes the narrative of Islam and Muslims in the entertainment industry so that audiences see Muslims as contributors to social and cultural change in America and around the world. The last four years have presented us with opportunities to grow our influence at an astonishing rate. Our consulting work promotes inclusion and authentic Muslim characters, and our connections open doors for screenwriters every day. Our impact did not happen overnight, but it is definitely producing results. Impact's Hollywood Bureau has become what so many in the entertainment industries call the go-to Muslim organization. And you know what? We earn that title. We work hard to help make sure that there are better narratives about Muslims and that Muslims are driving those narratives. To this end, our biggest priority has been to create a pipeline for Muslim screenwriters in the industry. And we're doing just that through our screenwriting labs, where we partner with studios and production companies to help Muslim talent hone their craft in storytelling and narrative change. The selected Muslim screenwriters workshop their scripts with industry executives receiving invaluable feedback, tools to refine their projects, and connections to move them forward. Join me as we celebrate our Screenwriting Lab's impact on the future of content in the entertainment industry. Partnering with MPAC's Hollywood Bureau on the Screenwriting Lab was an easy choice. There was some hope for a woman of color like me to actually get my story told. I believe that these stories are important and matter. I'm here. It's always a journey, so don't feel like it's too late. They actually took time to listen to our pitches, and they gave us incredible feedback. Chances are you are good enough to be in the room and there's only one way to find out. Everybody should apply to MPAC because it's one of the few spaces that exist where you don't have to hold back on who you are. You see, we're not just helping to develop the next generation of Muslim creatives, we're also working with Muslims who are making an impact by establishing themselves in the industry. I am proud to present to you the short video from screenwriter Nida Chowdhury, who through our relationships with industry creatives, showrunners, and executive producers, was hired at one of the top studios as a member of their writer's team. A year ago today, the MPAC Hollywood Bureau connected me with my first studio writing opportunity. And they were there to consult on the show to ensure that Muslims and Islam were represented fairly and accurately. And because of that, I got to focus on being a writer, on letting my imagination run wild, and on telling the best story I could possibly tell. That was a dream come true. And that first door opening led to many doors opening, and I've written for many major studios since. So thank you so much to the MPAC Hollywood Bureau for seeing me, for seeing people like me, and for working tirelessly to build bridges within Hollywood. We are so proud of Nida and the so many others who are storytellers, creating a better narrative for Muslims in the media. But wait, there's more. I'm super excited to tell you that MPAC and Hungry Man Productions are teaming up to produce a documentary about Muslim healthcare workers who are on the front lines of the pandemic. We as a community have been vilified long enough 
And this documentary seeks to redefine the story of the American Muslim experience by showing audiences how integral we are as healthcare workers protecting everyday Americans. And the best part of this production is that we have Muslims as our producers, director, and director of photography. We are in the driver's seat. There is nothing more inspiring to me than seeing how much our work impacts others. The truth is this job is not easy, but Nida's story is something that inspires us on those hard days when change isn't happening fast enough. When we see the impact we're having, not on just one life, but on all the other lives that one life touches, then we only want to work even harder. Those of you who know MPAC and who know me know that we always want to be relevant, impactful, and making a difference. Well, rest assured, we are succeeding, but there is so much more work to do, and this work is not free. It takes your generous donations to keep it going. So if you want to see more portrayals of Muslim characters and stories that are more like your family and more writers writing on major productions at major studios, we need your financial support. Think about all the streaming services you belong to and think about all the content you consume when you binge watch a series. Whatever the case may be, think about how you could spend your money to actually impact the creation of it. Tonight, I'm asking you to invest in the content that you want to see by supporting Impact's efforts to make the change we all want to see. We can't do this work without you. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.